testimony of if God is for you, who can be against you? Welcome, welcome, welcome to another episode of 3D Boxing Podcast. It is good to be back. Uh, quick Hits comes at you twice a day, every day, 8 to 10 minutes per day, per show, uh, per show, twice a day, um, to bring you the latest and greatest boxing news and rumors. Um, my brain's not working today, guys. It's late already. Uh, we're going to get into... Um, Charlo Montiel, which is a really, really strong number, um, all things considered. Uh, PBC's best number uh, since the pandemic. Uh, but before we get into that, please like and subscribe. Share on all forms of social media. Uh, please subscribe to our new channel, Texas Boxing Scene, uh, where all proceeds go to autism research and recovery. Um, <clears throat> before uh, Let's get started on today's show, guys. Um, this was interesting. I, I wasn't expecting this, and I, and I think it plays to up uh, that the Charlo brothers are stars. Um, there's a lot going on that people are disappointed in Charlo's performance, that they think they can beat him, that he's not the best um, middleweight. I, I would say to that, is this performance any worse than what Triple G did with Derevchenko? No. Is this performance any worse than what Andre just did with Beefy? No. No. Um, uh, so I think Charles is the best middleweight in the world. And um, I, I think we did a good number here. Um, it's the highest number since uh, since short time boxing during the pandemic. Um, the Nielsen ratings hit uh, an average of 333,000 uh, with a peak of 379, which, like I said, all, all things considered, is a pretty good number. Um, those numbers also, uh, those figures include only viewers that watch the fights live on Showtime's uh, channel. On so anything that was streamed or, or, or like that um, was accounted. So it's a pretty good number, um, especially you know during during the pandemic, um, which was was interesting because it was just a chock full day of, of boxing. You had the top rank card on ESPN. You had a Golden Boy card earlier in the day, and people still tuned into this above everything else, which I, 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 I found to be interesting. You had a really loaded day of boxing, and this came out the winner. Um, uh, you, know, you had the Charlo Brothers, which did the highest rating on Fox, their first fight back, uh, I guess it was December of 2018, when Charlo, when, when, when Jamal fought uh, Korobov and Jamal lost to Tony Harrison. That was the highest rating that, that they had ever done at that point on Fox. Um, then you had the trial of pay-per-view, which did okay, so that they could sell pay-per-views. And, and now you had this. So I, I think we're establishing that the Charlos, to some degree, and you can see they're both on the wall, um, are stars. Um, and, and, look, I, I don't know what the future is. You know, look, Jamal Charlo and Canelo fight in different weight classes. Canelo wants to unify 168. Charlo wants to unify 160. So I don't see a Charlo Canelo fight happening anytime soon. I'm, I'm just I, I'm just being real. Like, I don't think he's going to fight Benavides. I don't think he's going to fight Caleb Plant. Um, although if Caleb Plant fight beats Canelo, who knows? There would be a lot of money in that fight, and Charlo might not. It would be way too easy to make and too much money for Charlo to turn down. But it, it seems like, at least right now, Charlo wants to unify 160. And I, I don't think the names between Morota, Morata, Triple G, and Andre are going to scare him away. I, I think Charlo should be favored to be any of those guys. The big money fight in that division would be Triple G, uh, which I, I think is a highly entertaining fight. Uh, and I think Charlo wins it. I think Triple G is shot. I don't, you know, if you look at kind of an opponent, who did better with Daravichenko, Charlo or Triple G? And I, and, I, and I get that boxing math doesn't work that way. But I think at this point that Charlo could use the ring. Charlo is more multidimensional. He's more multifaceted. Um, I think he's got plenty of pop. 
Obviously, he's got pop. He's he's the faster fighter. He's obviously has more left in his leg. He's the young legs. He's the younger fighter. He's tall fighter. He's the rangier fighter. Um, he's a master boxer puncher. He's really the quintessential boxer puncher. Um, one of the best in the sport. So again, I, I get that many of y'all are criticizing performance, but I you can go back to to this show. I told you Montiel was no pushover. I did a show called Montiel is no pushover. <laughs> Right, I thought he was a good fighter then. I think I think he's a good fighter now. Um, I, I think he could potentially beat Andre. You guys were calling him bums and stuff. I, I didn't get that. I didn't get it then. I, I really don't get it now. Um, I, I know he's awkward. He's slow, but he's not a bad fighter. And, and Charlo dominated the fight, right? Like, Montiel had moments in the second half of the fight. But he was out of the fight. He had lost the fight, right? Like, he, he, even... The rounds he had, he was losing exchanges. Yeah, he was landing shots, but she was getting hit with more shots. Uh, I mean, guys, you think that, you know, a pressure come forward fighter at a high level, like he's got a win over Kirkland. He's got a draw with Centennial. Like he's not a bad fighter. Is not going to land any shots? It's just, I think, silly and ridiculous. Like, Charlo did what he was supposed to do. He took care of business. I gave him an A- minus on the performance. If you go back and listen to the show. So I, I, I don't understand all this backlash that Charlo's getting. But let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Um, all, all this thing did a good number. Um, I'd like to see who Charlo fights next. I, I think he's a developing star. I think he's got A-side potential against any of those names. Um, I know Triple G fights on his own, so we don't really get his ratings uh, but leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like and subscribe. Uh, hit the thumbs up uh, icon. Hit the thumbs up. Hit the bell icon. Um, please subscribe to our new channel, uh, Texas Boxing Scene. All proceeds go to Autism Research and Recovery. We'll be back tomorrow with two shows. Every day is two shows. Eight to ten minutes just to keep you up to date on the latest boxing news and rumors. It is June 22nd, uh, 2021. Ivan Calderon is still not in the Boxing Hall of Fame. Let's get that. Let's make that change. Let's get the Iron Boy in um, from Texas to the world. Thank you and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.